Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you episode 4 of Forever Stranded, a mod pack by Gaming with Sheridan. On our last episode, we took care of our heat control by completing the Sum Heat Protection quest, which is armor to protect us from overheating. I'm going to turn 10 temp info so that you guys can see again that I now have a minus 4 debuff for armor. But we didn't get onto the food quest and it's coming very dire. Look at my hunger and I'm almost dying. Fortunately, the last thing that we completed was this other options quest. And we now have five cooked silkworm to eat. So I don't want to keep any of those, so let's just eat all of them to clear them out of our inventory. I've now posted some of the videos and started getting some feedback and one of the feedback was about the uh, time-lapse sound being too high and another one of the feedback was about the fact that my inventory is always full and it's something very funny because I've always ate that about youtubers where they go around and have so much stuff in their inventory they don't find anything so it's something that we're going to try and address today that loot chest only gave me four logs so that's that's not OP I'm just gonna keep it and not worry about that so for now, I'm going to put some chests right here so that I'm able to always have a dumb chest where I can put whatever I don't want to use. But I want to start being serious about organizing my inventory. So I'm going to create four more chests and I'm going to split my inventory in two ways. First, at the front of the ship right here, I'm going to have what's going to be called my food chest where I'm going to keep everything food related. So right now, I have those seeds that I need to plant, these apples, that maple sapling, and that's pretty much it for food right now. And in the back of the ship here, I'm going to have another set of chests, which is going to be my sieving chest. Whenever I come back from this room with some sieving, I'm just going to be able to dump everything in there. And I'm going to keep the powdered iron because I need more iron. Let me just do a little bit of cleanup. So these things are not loot related. I'll just grab those. I have plenty of this. I have plenty of that. All of the things that are left here are either ship component or part of my loots that I don't want to overuse. So let me put every, uh, not that, this is my sieving chest. So let me put all sieving related things. Let me get rid of that ship part right here. And in the front, I'm going to put the rest of the loot. So this, this, that, and that. And, uh, oh, one other thing also is that whenever I'm sieving, I always end up having no more um, uh, mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more crafting table. And in the back here, I'm going to pre-set up right here a little area with all of my string so that whenever... I need another mesh, I just need to click on it and pull up one from there. Just like so, and I can put it in and continue with my sieving. So today we really got to complete the even otter quest right here with the crucible, and we really have to get started with the food quest. This one's going to be easy to complete, but we need salt. And let's look up salt. Salt is something that's created by having fresh water and we can only have fresh water with a water bucket made out of iron and we have our three iron now so that's what we're going to do pretty soon well let's do it just right now it's going to be taken care of already so I need my three iron to make a bucket and this bucket's not going to go to waste because we're going to need it for something else we also need one sand so it's the recipe is Let's turn this bucket into fresh water, and then it's one fresh one fresh water, one sand, and one glass bottle, and we lose the glass bottle in the sand. And then I can use one rotten flesh. I'm going to consider rotten flesh as food from now on, and I have a food chest, so let's grab the beetroot, the rice seed, any kind of seed that can help produce food, and we'll put that in the front. So. All of these seeds I'm going to put in the front, this, this, and that. And I'm going to keep one rotten flesh for now. And I'm going to use the rotten flesh to create the uh, zombie jerky to complete that quest. And, oh, I forgot to read the quest, so let's read it. 
Desperate times. You may have noticed the lack of food on this planet. Well, I have a temporary solution. You aren't going to like it much, but given the only alternative is starving to death. And that's going to give us four zombie jerky and four monster jerky. Not very appetizing food, but, you know, something that will do to keep us alive. So let's fill up, and since it's night, I don't want to have too many mobs on the map, so I'll just go to... I'll just get rid of the food elements right now, put them in the chest, and go to sleep. And tomorrow we'll continue with the even hotter quest after housekeeping. So I'm going to have a very short time lapse where I'm going to take care of our housekeeping and get back to sifting. And since even hotter is going to require a crucible and we want to create lava, I'm going to need 36 small stone. So I'm going to also sieve dirt. So let's go into a time lapse and I'll see you guys soon. And we're back. So like I said, guys, I took care of the cactus wall outside. I did the harvest the, the trees, got some water, more dirt. And now I have my 38 small stone and I only needed 36. So let's create my four cobblestone. Let's get rid of those two small stones. I'm never going to need those anymore. And I thought about cooking the ash, which I needed to be able to complete the uh, porcelain clay that I need. So let me make more porcelain clay and I'm going to end up having 15 which is going to be enough for two crucible. It's more than we need but we never can have too much lava. So the two crucible are done. Let's just make sure that the even hotter task detected them. Perfect. Let's cook them and once they're cooked I'm going to go outside and I'm going to make sure that uh, they get started on cooking my uh, my lava because we're gonna need that lava to be able to continue and while we're waiting for that lava to be ready we're gonna get started on the more food quest because I don't want to be stuck and uh, starved to death that would be a really bad continuation to this playthrough especially since we haven't died of overeating yet which is very great so I'm going to set both of those here. This is really temporary. I just don't want to go around and start finding the best place for now. And this is going to start cooking, but it's really slow. If you look at the speed of two millibucket per second, this is going to take a while, which means we're going to be able to concentrate on the food quest and on getting some iron. My next step is really going to be cobble. And to get cobble, we talked about this earlier, we want to have a cobblestone generator and the cobblestone generator is six cobble and a bucket of water a bucket of lava and a standard glass glass is easy and the bucket we already have one of the two and we're creating the lava right now so once our lava is ready we're going to make a vanilla type uh, cobble generator and we're going to generate enough cobblestone to get two more buckets of lava started and to get the six that we need to create a cobblestone generator but for that we're gonna need three more iron but like I said we need to take care of the food so let's look at the food quest we already did this one the next one is cooking utensils 
Right, this is simple. If you don't want to be stuck eating bits of monsters and worms of th trees, make some kitchen utensil. And it's requiring us to make a mixing bowl, a juicer, a mortar and pestle, and a cutting board. So I know that the mixing bowl is three wood and a stick. The juicer is three stone, and you have to make them into a pressure plate. The mortar and pestle is three stone and a stick. Uh, not stone, the... Um, yeah, stone, cooked cobblestone, and the cutting board is one iron. So we already need three iron for the second bucket and one iron for the cutting board. We already have two here, let me change that. We already have four, so we only need a fifth one technically for... Uh, no, we already have our four, so we're able to continue that. So since that's the case, let's just cook that right now. And uh, I'm going to tell you about the second part of this plan. Because the second part of this plan is being able to, cook, uh, to create food as fast as possible. For that, we're going to need a watering can. And the watering can is this bucket, which we're not going to waste, and four more iron. So we're going to need to sift enough dust to get four more iron. And we're going to have to start our food production and our lava. So while we're waiting for the lava to cook, let me put the seeds away here. And uh, let's just go to another quick time lapse where we're going to sift as much dust as possible. And I'm going to be transforming all of the sand that I have into dust because I really want to make sure that I get the four irons that I'm missing. And if I end up needing even more iron, I'm going to go out of the ship and create some more dust by uh, hitting the sand with the hammer. And we're overeating, so it's really a good time to do it. So I'm going to go into another quick time lapse and see you soon. And we're back and being back with a blood moon this is really not great I was going I was hoping 
for an easier time, but you know what you you get with uh, the games brings you. So we're gonna set up inside, and I grabbed the uh, lava with the wrong bucket, but it doesn't really matter. During the time lapse, we were able to get all of the irons that we needed left. So let's create a hole in the wall, uh, not a hole in the wall, a hole in the ship that we're not gonna keep. We're gonna repair the ship right after, but just in the meantime, so that we can take advantage of the blood moon I really don't want to waste any time like I said we're going to be creating a um, vanilla minecraft type uh, 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 minecraft vanilla cobblestone generator let me just put that there and get the lava so that the quest even hotter is completed and with that quest completed let's collect some clay and ash that really at this point we don't really need so I'll put that away and let's look at the next quest and the next quest is tools of the trade and the tools of the trade now I have the tables to make all my tools I can make weapon and tools that will help me I don't know why this quest is there because I find it's really late in the game we can already pre create stone hammer with our vanilla cobblestone generator and Hopefully we have the four bones. Oh yeah, we do. So one, two, three, four. We have the four bones to create the bone crook, but we've been using the compressed crook. And unless someone, some of you can tell me, I really don't know why the uh, bone crook would be better. Uh, let me remove that quickly. So now I want to have two cobblestone just to be able to complete that chest, that quest. One. Uh, I hate the vanilla type cobblestone generator, but here's the two. So I'm going to be able to use the two sticks and the two cobblestone to create the stone hammer, and that's another quest completed. Let's turn in that quest. And again, gold ore, we already have a lot of gold. Iron sword, don't really need. We have a better sword. Gold hammer, uh, it doesn't really mean that much to me. So let's take a loot chest and hope it's as troll as the other ones. And let's open it right now. Maybe we'll have some fun with this. So, loot chest. Ooh, a whole wool. I'm going to put that as in this chest because since it's something I can easily create, I don't mind using it. And now that we have that, the next quest, like this is getting started with uh, metal. So it means a lot of sieving. And then moving things around is for automation. If we go back here, the cool coils, the reason I didn't talk about that quest before is because it's going to take a while, but let's read it now. Cool coils. So the heat is really getting to you. There is such thing as heating and cooling coils you know. These will need to be placed in a room with a door. They will not work outside in the open air. And basically it's something you put down and you give it a redstone signal and it gives you a minus 10 debuff. So it really brings your temperature down quickly. Let's look at the crafting for that because you're going to see it's pretty expensive. So let's search coil and GEI and you can either do it with freeze rod, which I don't really know how to get in this pack, or diamond shards from Hoot. And a diamond shard is done by having a yaw hammer, a shard die, a diamond, and an obsidian. Diamond you get from sifting, a shard die is iron bar which means more iron flint a gold ingot and an obsidian and uh, the yaw hammer is three nether brick and the nether brick you get by cooking nether rack that you get by putting redstone in a barrel so it's not complicated stuff at this point it's really just a question of resource gathering so this is a quest we should be able to complete fairly quickly and for the rest of the food quest, that's really the next important part. So for the rest of this episode, I'm going to use this blood moon to create as much that I need. And we're going to complete this episode with a long time lapse where we'll save as much as possible to try and get this quest and that quest completed. So I already looked up all of the recipe and I'm going to need three, four, five, six stones uh, for that quest so let me harvest 
six stone uh, six cobblestone right now one and uh, I also need six to be able to create my cobblestone generator so let's just get 12 immediately and then I'll be able to pick up that lava and water and create the cobblestone generator and not have to go through the pain of having half of them burn by the lava because that's the only thing I always hated about those uh, vanilla cobblestone generator that half of them fall in lava unless you put a uh, unless you put a hopper under and I'll show you that later in case it's something that you're really interested in but uh, for now it doesn't really matter so I have my 12 I'm going to cook six right now and I'm going to get started on that cobblestone generator that I was talking to you about but oh I'm going to need some I'm going to need some glass and I forgot to pre-cook the glass so hopefully I still have some uh, sand here and I'll have to cook that sand into glass so I'll let the stone complete to be able to do that and uh, in the meantime I can create some of the other items so like I was saying we need a cook, uh, cutting board and the cutting board needs one stick so one stick one plank one iron gives us the cooking board three plank and a stick gives us the mixing bowl I'm gonna put a stick there and hopefully I have three oh I have five oh I'm just gonna wait for the last one I don't wanna waste any time so and I'm gonna get my glass started put this right there and I'm gonna be able to complete my cooking utensils three stones there get to us the mortar and pestle I need to create a weighted plate, a stone pressure plate, and oh no, it's the other way around. And I get my juicer, and that's another food quest completed. And this one's interesting because it gives you kind of a break. Cooking utensil is completed. That's going to give us a bakeware, two lamb with mint sauce, and two epic bacon, which is going to be really helpful in controlling your hunger. Since, since all of this is food related, I'm going to put it away in the food chest for now. And I'm going to continue, like I was saying, with our cobblestone generator. So let's get that done. Oh, I need, I have my two buckets. I'm going to need bucket of lava, bucket of water. And it's one bucket of water, one bucket of lava, one glass, and the six cobblestone, which create us a tiny progression cobblestone generator. This is very slow, but it's so cheap, we're going to create multiple of them just not right now. So you put it down here and unless you have something to extract from it you can shift right click to see how many cobblestone it contains. Uh, this can go up to 32 so we have to collect it fairly often or you just right click to collect. So you see now I have my cobblestone. Um, I don't want to break the ship because uh, <laughs> let's say that the ship creator asked me not to break a ship so let's repair it right now put everything back into place and hopefully he never sees this episode and he never gets mad about the fact that I destroyed a ship but it's back now so there's no pain no problem and in preparation for our uh, food let's also I'm gonna grab some more cactus I'm also going to create the watering can and the watering can is so important because you don't want to be wasting time in this mod pack so I'm going to create the watering can and whenever we want to grow food we're going to be able to water it down. I'm going to go to the back of the ship, uh, no, right here, and I'm going to get rid of the bucket because this we're never going to use again now that we have real buckets. And so at this point, since it's a blood moon, we have to wait for the night to uh, get completed, which means that I'm going to end this episode with me um, sieving as much stuff as I can and with me going outside and doing the chores of the morning and calling this a day and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode.